If you're watching this video, first off, welcome. Secondly, you're interested in 3D printing and you're thinking, okay, but how do I actually get something to print? You're probably not a designer of 3D models, so you're gonna have to go out and find a 3D model to print. So in this video, I'm gonna go through several of the most popular websites that host 3D printable files for you to find and print. The big kahuna is thingiverse.com. This was started by MakerBot, the uh, a company that makes 3D printers, desktop 3D printers. And it's the big kahuna in the sense that it has over 3 million files hosted on there. Uh, by far the largest selection of any one 3D printable file website. Uh, now that does have the downside, you're gonna be sorting through a lot of different things, right? You're gonna find, if you search for rings, you're gonna find a lot of different rings, some of them low quality. Um, the site does provide a pretty good variety of categories and tags and such, so you can look through in different ways, but just be aware there's a huge selection on there. Uh, one advantage of that site is that you can download any file on there, even if you don't have an account. So you can just go to the website, find a file, download it, you're done, which is quite nice. Second big website is Shapeways. Now this site is actually run by a company that will 3D print objects for you. So you can go onto the website, find a file, and just click print, and they will print it and just deliver it to your door. You can also download the file directly sometimes. The site allows the uploader to decide whether users can or cannot download the file. Sometimes you just have to buy it through their site. But one of the upsides is that the folks who are uploading to Shapeways usually have a more complex, a more remarkable file that they want to upload. They don't just upload everything onto the site. So you tend to get some more interesting stuff on Shapeways as a result of that. Uh, one downside is you need, do need to create a Shapeways account to download any files. You won't even see the download uh, button until you log in. Then there's Pinshape, which is closer to a competitor to Thingiverse. It provides a large selection of files, although certainly not millions. The other side of that is that they're more curated than Thingiverse. So they're going to call out the lower quality things. Someone just uploads you know, a cube or a sphere that's gonna get tossed off the site. And so you tend to find, if you're just browsing for things, you tend to, you tend to find a higher level of quality at Pinshape than at, say, Thingiverse. Another popular site is MyMiniFactory.com, which is also trying to compete with Thingiverse and Pinshape by reaching out more to designers. So My Mini Factory has tried to make the site as easy as possible um, and as powerful as possible for creators to feature their designs. And so it tends to be more popular with folks who are uh, really trying to be thoughtful designers of 3D files. So you find some interesting stuff on there. So you're looking at all this stuff perhaps and thinking, wow, there's a lot of sites. What if the file I want isn't on the site I happen to be looking at? Well, that's what Yegi is for. Yegi.com is a meta search site that will search multiple different 3D printable file sites and return all those results in its interface. Really convenient. Uh, it includes Thingiverse and a bunch of others. The downside is that the search isn't particularly uh, powerful or complicated, meaning that if you search for Darth Vader, you're going to find every single Darth Vader file. Um, and it's not going to be very well sorted. So like the nicest one isn't necessarily going to be at the top. Um, and you're going to get tons of them, just all sorts of them from all over the place in basically one just big old honking list. So it's very useful for finding things that may be hidden in an odd corner, but it's also a lot to sort through. So useful resource, but not necessarily what you want to go for immediately every time. So that's it. Obviously, there are a lot of other sites that do this, but these are the big ones that I hear people talking about uh, and that I see used a lot online. So hopefully this is useful. And until next time, I hope you find something awesome to print.